Hello friends. Today we are doing another round of honestly one of my favorite video premises ever, trying to style random mismatched clothing combinations into outfits. Just moments ago, I asked my boyfriend to grab five mismatched clothing pairings out of my wardrobe and he delivered. These are all pairings I truly never would have put together, and I am so excited to style them. Also, I know this method isn't like mathematically random, but you get it. It's mismatched clothing. Okay, let's get into it. Our first pairing is this jacket and this shirt. Two of my favorite pieces. They were actually both in my capsule wardrobe that I recently did a video on. You can watch it right there if you want. But I've never styled them together because, you know, they both have these very small, busy patterns. So my first thought is I need to break up those patterns somehow with something in between. I'm thinking this vest. And then on the bottom, I'm thinking we should probably go pretty simple because we have these two patterns on top. So I'm thinking just this black Midi skirt? Is that a cop out? Is that too easy? I don't know. They're gonna get harder. So let's try out what we have and see what we wanna add. All right, here's what we have so far. I actually think this looks amazingly good together. I really love how the vest breaks this up a little, but then there's still some interplay around the collar. I really think this is working as it is. So I'm just gonna add like a couple more accessories. We're gonna do my yellow lens sunglasses because A, they're my favorite and I have this disease where I have to add them to every outfit, but also because the jacket and the shirt both have yellow in them. So it kind of ties them together. And then my classic lug sole loafers. I might also throw on a bag and maybe some other items, but then we'll be pretty much good to go. And I will show you the final look. Okay, I actually love this outfit so much. I would 100% hundred percent proudly wear this out, post this on Instagram. I'm amazed at how well it all blends together and how understated it looks even with these two busy colorful prints. It's still giving kind of an effortlessly cool vibe to me. The suede vest also gives it kind of a Western flair that when paired with the prints creates sort of a cool boho vibe. And yeah, all together, I'm super into this. Definitely would wear. On to the next. All right, for our next combination, we have two dresses. One of them, is this flowy vintage nightgown. My boyfriend actually picked this same one last time. I guess he's just a fan. But this time we are pairing it with a new addition to my wardrobe, this structured wool dress that has sort of like an overalls look to it. So I think this is gonna be a really interesting combo. And to start, I'm just gonna layer the black dress over the white dress and then see what inspires us. Um. Oh my God, I love these pieces together so much. I knew it was gonna be interesting, but I thought I was gonna at least have to do like a little work to make it look good. But I think this looks so great already, just as it is. This is such a cool layering combination to me. But I do think it would be fun to add a little color to this outfit. So I'm thinking my little chunky charm necklace, my red shoes could be a nice pop. The shoes, the necklace, and these dresses have sort of this whimsical old timey fairy tale vibe all together. So I'm gonna try this little puffy braided headband. Okay, once I had the headband on, I realized I actually wanted to take this look in a more structured, dark, regal direction. I switched out the red shoes for these sleek black boots that look a little more streamlined and a little more formal. And I was really into that. I almost thought I was done. But then it occurred to me that I could lean into this like regal fantasy old timey vibe even more by bringing in my harness one of my favorite accessories, and my little straw basket bag to bring in that more like natural, you know, medieval villager vibe. We're doing both. We're like the queen of the fantasy village and a peasant simultaneously. I really love this. I think these details make it so cool. I feel like the harness really fits with this wool dress, like the structure all works together beautifully. It's almost armor-like to me because it is so thick and structured. I love all these black structured details in the accessories and stuff contrasted with this white flowy dress. I love the little whimsy that the basket bag brings in. This is really cool to me. Another one definitely would wear, although I am getting really hot in this because it's wool and it's like 80 degrees out today in April. What's going on? I have never lived in DC in spring before. Is it normal for it to be 80 degrees in April? I don't know, but I'm sweating in this video for you. Let's do our next combo. Okay, I accidentally started changing before I introduced the pieces, but the first one is this little dress. This is what it looks like. Ooh, ah. And then we have this floral midi skirt. I feel like layering this on top of the dress would just be way too easy. So I'm gonna layer this under the dress. This combination together is actually super cute. It's definitely giving me 90s whimsy goth vibes. So I think I'm just gonna lean into that. My first thought is to add a little overcoat. We have this faux suede one to pair on top. And then I thought this scarf could be a really good addition because it kind of has bluish and maroonish, so it could like tie the dress and the skirt together really well. And then I think I just need shoes of some sort and hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, loved the coat with it and the scarf. And then I decided to go with the same boots from the last outfit, this canvas tote 
And then we're veering from the whimsy goth vibes a little here, but I thought it would look so cute with a beret. I love the variation it adds. So with all of those additions, here is the final look. Okay. This outfit is amazing. It's so cute and also looks amazingly normal. I feel like looking at it, I wouldn't guess it was a mismatched clothing challenge. It doesn't even look super out there. It's just like a super cute little 90s whimsy goth meets rom-com core kind of vibe. I really love this. This also feels like such a perfect fall outfit to me. And it's like, okay, you're off by like eight months. Um, but I'll store this away for later. And a lot of spring weather and fall weather are very similar. So this could be a really fun spring outfit if you're more into an earthier vibe and less bright, super pops of color for spring, you know? I love this. Okay, let's do the next pairing. All right, for our next pairing, first up we have this top, which I think is really cool, but I rarely wear because I have trouble styling it. So I feel like this is a great item to get me out of my box. Paired with this new little tunic blouse that I thrifted in last week's video. So. I'm gonna layer this shirt on top of this tunic top dress thing. We're gonna start with that and then see where we wanna go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Are you kidding me? Look how cute these look together. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. I mean, I just got this one, but like, why didn't it come to me immediately? These are so good together. They both have sort of a peplum shape to them and it creates such a cute little like poofed out shape on the bottom. I love it so much. So now I'm already wearing like little safety shorts on the bottom, but I feel like this needs something underneath and I'm debating between a short skirt, which will just let this shine on its own as it is, or a long skirt, which will like extend it even further. I'm not sure which. Okay, I decided I just loved the mini length too much. I didn't want to mess with it. So I just put a mini skirt underneath. Honestly, it's really not doing much. You can't even see it, but it makes me feel secure to know that it's there. So now I just want to finish this off with some more like playful touches. I feel like this kind of poofy skirt is very playful and girly, but I'm thinking some more kind of girly, but more like playful kiddish elements to make it a little more my style. So I would love to bring out the red in this shirt a little more with these red shoes. Then I thought this little plaid bag would be fun just to like bring in another pattern, but it's pretty subtle. It goes with the color palette we have. And then just some little sunglasses. So let's put all that on and see if we have a finished look. Okay, I know I didn't actually even add that much to this outfit, but I think this is so cute. Honestly, I think I just got lucky with this pairing that neither me nor my boyfriend realized how perfectly they would fit together. I think this looks amazing as it is. I think the shoes and the bag and the sunglasses are really cute and just add some fun little touches that would make this such a fun outfit to wear like out and about, out on the town, going shopping. I don't know, something like that. I feel very adorable in this. I think I got lucky on this one. But now it's time for the last combo. Let's do it. Wow, my hair has really gotten progressively sweatier and frizzier throughout this video, but we are on to the last combo. This is definitely the hardest one, I think. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it is this brown, beautiful embroidered jacket with this blue poofy little mini dress that I recently thrift flipped and have been recently trying to style, but it's already challenging even when I can choose whatever I want. So it's definitely gonna be a challenge with this jacket, but I guess first we just have to put them both on and then see what we want to do from there. All right, here's what we have. It's a shame the brown jacket covers up the beautiful poofy sleeves of the dress, but maybe that will make it easier to work with. And I actually think blue and brown is a beautiful color combo. The only issue is I own very little brown. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna be able to pull that in here, but I'm gonna try to like add various blue and brown accessories and finish this out. I don't know. I collected up a couple of blue and brown things. So I have these blue earrings, which I think will be awesome with this. And then for brown accessories, I have this hat. Could add a fun casual touch. I don't know. We also have this brown belt, which I love. And I don't think everything needs to be belted, but maybe this could be cool belted? I don't know. I'm gonna try out a couple of these things and see what works. Okay, first I tried the hat and I was like, wait a minute. I thought I was gonna hate this, but I actually think it's pretty cute. But then when I added the earrings and then the belt with the hat, I don't know why I felt like that was all too much. It looked a little too 80s to me altogether. So then I decided to try it with the belt, but without the hat and put my hair up. I feel like this is really cool so far. Really, all we have to do now is pick shoes and maybe a bag, which this is the tricky part because the only brown shoes I have are casual sandals. And I don't know if I have any brown bags and most of what else I have is black. And I don't know, oh, maybe white. Let me investigate my white shoes and white bags because that could be a nice fresh addition to this whole look. Oh my God, you guys, I am obsessed 
with this outfit. I'm obsessed with what the white added to it. Look at this. This is so good. This outfit already had like some 80s vibes, but then some more natural elements. And then now with these little white boots and the white bag, it brings in this like 60s vibe, which also melds with the bubble hem and the big earrings, which are sort of 80s, but also sort of 60s space age. This is just such a cool blend of different influences, different styles that all really meld together in such a cool way to me. I absolutely love this outfit. It might be my favorite one. I feel like it is the most like interesting and fashion-y and unique out of this whole video. And I 100% would wear this. I'm completely on board. All right, y'all, please tell me in the comments how you think I did, which ones were your favorites. I also feel like my boyfriend took it a little easier on me this time, right? If you haven't watched the first version of this, check it out right here. It was super fun. And then once you've watched watched it, please let me know. Do you think this one was easier? I feel like maybe it was easier. If you want to see a third round of this, please also tell me in the comments. I would love to keep doing these if you would love to keep seeing them. Oh, and I heard if you leave a comment, watch another video such as this one right here and subscribe to the channel, you will find the perfect new seemingly mismatched clothing combo in your closet that will turn out to make your new favorite outfit.